What is up, Madden NFL fans? Welcome to today's video. Today we're going to be talking about how to beat zone coverage from the St. Louis Rams offensive playbook. We're using our scheme of the week here for the Atlanta Falcons, and we've got a couple of videos left to finish up here. I apologize for the delay on the videos getting out. That was just a big misunderstanding, and I uh, ended up my computer just ended up not working well for me. So, but today we're focusing on uh, zone beater, and uh, we've already talked about the trips tied in. We talked about the bunch. We've talked about uh, the the uh, tight doubles, and uh, today we're going to talk about the wing trips weak formation. And this is one of my favorites uh, for beating zone. It's just because of this one play here, uh, this mountain wide dig. I think it's one of the better plays in the game that nobody talks about, and it's out of the St. Louis playbook. So let's talk about why this is very good for beating zone. So a couple of adjustments we want to make here to this play. We want to put Harry Douglas here, our left of screen receiver, on a hitch route. And we want to put Julio Jones on the far right on a little five-yard in route. Now, first and foremost, I want to show you this against man just to get you guys to see what I'm talking about. This auto route uh, motion route to Steven Jackson does a really nice job at beating man-to-man -man defense with a pass lead to the outside. Now, what's interesting to note about that is that if they don't base align their defense, it's going to make the same exact read for us against a cover three, a cover two, any of those coverages. That streak route is money if they do not base align. Uh, okay, so let's. Uh, I just showed you a cover three. Now I want to show you a cover two. So we'll take a look at a cover two, cover two zone. And you'll see here, they'll get a little bump on him, but you'll see here, uh, and I think I forgot to put Harry Douglas on the hitch route. The hitch route's important. Um, sorry about that. But you'll see here uh, against the cover uh, three, this is going to be the cover three. So the cover three is going to it's gonna feel like they're playing a cover two against you, but it's actually a cover three. So you see here, that press makes you think cover two, but in reality it's cover three, but you beat it as if it was a cover two. Uh, so now let's take a look at a cover two. Okay, so cover two here, and we're going to see here, we're going to motion out. Jackson's coming outside, and you see that against the cover two, it's just a really, it's going to be a really tough time, especially with a guy like Jackson who has really good catch in traffic. Now I want to shift the focus to what happens if they do base the line. So first and foremost, we're going to show you how to beat a cover three. If they base the line, and the way that I like to beat a cover three zone is by hitting this deep in route to Tony Gonzalez over the middle. You see it does a really good job at beating the cover three zone. Guys, we are running a very uh, in-depth levels concept here today. Um, and we'll show you real quickly here against cover two. And uh, that will, and against cover two, we should see this route to uh, Roddy White be wide open. Now, another thing you probably noticed on that play, if you were paying attention, is against cover two, this route to Jackson is also going to be fairly open as well, even if they base the line. Okay, it's going to be that same kind of mentality. And so that's a lot of stuff to cover in one video. But basically, what you want to do is when they don't base the line, you want to give it a quick, quick little look here to see. And here you see that's an example of where we would throw it. Let's show you an example of where we wouldn't. So, for example, if they run the cover three. So that was the cover two, and you saw we had the window. Now we'll see a cover three example where we won't have the window. The slot receiver will follow me upfield. And so that's when I know I have to hit Tony Gonzalez on the levels concept. Okay, let's show you what happens if you do throw it against cover three just to kind of close it out here. But basically, if you do try to force this throw into coverage against the cover three, you still have a little bit of a window where you could click on and user catch it and uh, make big user catches downfield. This is why I chose this play for uh, this team because Steven Jackson has pretty good catching. A lot of people don't know, uh, but he does. He's a pretty good catch in traffic running back. And uh, this is a nice little route for a big receiver, uh, a big back like him to go out and use or catch. So that is the video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, if I was unclear on something about the play breakdown or something that you just didn't understand, if you wouldn't mind, just send me a tweet at, at madtips 365 uh, My Twitter handle is in the description. You guys can check that out. And lastly, guys, I want you to check out this gameplay I've got from Mad15. Uh, it's been surfacing some of the uh, popular websites, and this gameplay has been on Twitter a lot. And if you haven't seen it, I just want to kind of give you guys an opportunity to see it. It is in the description. You can check it out. And uh, we'll be talking about that gameplay as the week progresses. So thanks for your time today. I hope this video provided some value to you. And if it did, if you could please leave a like right down below, I'd really appreciate it. Thanks and have a great day, guys.